So CNN has obtained surveillance footage of Diddy physically assaulting Cassie in 2016. Now, guess what, though? Uh, allegedly, though, um, back in 2016, allegedly, so Diddy had paid, you know, like this hotel, $250,000, according to Cassie, to hide the footage. So it looks like after Diddy paid to hide the footage, it looks like CNN and others have somehow obtained the footage. So Diddy just paid for no reason. So here's the footage of Diddy allegedly physically assaulting Cassie on camera. Okay, so I'm not going to put it on screen, but can one of you guys just describe it? I, I got sure. you. So, I haven't watched it yet, by the way. I got you. So I believe, go ahead and start playing it. So I believe this is Cassie leaving. She's beelining it for the door. Five minutes later, here comes Diddy running down the hallway, butt-ass naked with a towel on and some socks. Yeah. They're in the elevator hallway. Where you go downstairs, he starts, he grabs her by the back of the head, she drops, she balls up, he kicked her, stomped her again. Yo, he's a monster, bag. bro. He's got her bag, and then he grabs her too and starts pulling her back down the hallway. Yo, he's a monster, bro. He kind of stops. She's kind of holding her back. Um, and that's kind of where it stole on. That's pretty much where it stopped. Yeah, let's for go, church. Keep going. Yeah, so yeah. like she's in the hallway. So if y'all know when y'all walking down the hallway, y'all gotta hit that little corridor where there's a four elevators. They're right there. And as soon as he hits that motherfucking corner, he grabs her by the back of her motherfucking head. She he kind of pops her. She drops. She balls up. Yeah. And like Paul's like yeah. at the court documents. You can so tell she got a big old sweatshirt on, little hoodie. She's just trying to beeline it. He comes and runs down the hallway. Boom, snatches her by her you head. See, what I'm getting is he was in the shower and she starts she she's seeing that as her time to get on. To get on. Because all he got on is a towel and some socks. He probably heard that door close and was like, wait, where the fuck this bitch go? And went out there and yanked her all through the hallway. Now, uh, pause real quick. All right, so look, so, uh, so, so this is her explaining like exactly what happened. So, in or around March 2016, during a freak off, so this was after a freak off, mm. right? So during a freak off at the Intercontinental Hotel, Mr. Coons became extremely intoxicated and punched Ventura, giving her a black eye. After he fell asleep, uh, and Cassie tried tried to leave the hotel room, but as she exited, Mr. Coons awoke and began screaming at Cassie. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. He grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her, causing glass to crash around them as she ran to the elevator to escape. Yeah, right? So, um, and they didn't show, like, the part where he, he threw vases. Yeah, right? On the right? No, right? But, though, like, but, though, it, like, so, 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 the actual footage, though, like, it looks like it only captured, like, her actually, like, about to go to the, like to like to like to like to to the elevator, and then he came running after her. Right, so that's what it looked like to me. Right, but though we didn't see like what happened before that. You feel me? Which is, and him throwing. Apparently, like you know, like so you're saying this happened beforehand. Yeah, through the vases. Yeah. And then she said, bro, I, I'm like, I got to go. So she waited for him to fall asleep, and that's when she cut. I, oh. That don't make no sense to me. I'm kind of lost. That's what it says. Mm, Nigga, it says no. after he fell asleep, yeah, his venture right. tried to leave the room. Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. And then he followed her into the hallway, uh, and then that's when he started to throw like, like the vases so at her. that just means that it's another hall that we yeah. didn't see. Yeah, there was something else that we didn't see. Though. Yeah. You feel me? But I'm listen, bro. I believe everything in that lawsuit about Diddy, bro. This nigga is a monster, right? And it just sucks that it takes concrete, 100% evidence and proof like this for us to say, I, right, bro. You feel me? He's fucked. This nigga did it, right? Because, yo, yo, like, just imagine, like, the thousands of other chicks who, like, who, like, don't have the 100% concrete 4K gotcha proof. That he done victimized. Now, do you see a soft ass son talking about not daring nigga to say no, did he? Yeah. Boy, shut your ass up. You better shut up and go fly off to an island somewhere before they come get your little freaky ass too, little freaky Bruh. junior. Shut I the just fuck feel up. Like, why give up 30 million for this to happen anyway? 
Cause he didn't think that yeah. it, he didn't think that that show was gonna happen, but it did anyway. He thought that nigga think it's the thirties in this little Italy or something. He could just pair everybody off like it's the mafia. Like nigga, it's not happening, bro. It's gonna work for a certain amount of time, but then nigga, they gonna come they gonna come whack that for that. Fifty gone. That two hundred fifty been gone. They gonna come whack for that. <laughs> That's been gone. Two thousand sixteen. Yeah, that two fifty been out of there. That's crazy. No, and like what's crazy, like too, right? Is is he paid off Cassie like to not say nothing, but it don't stop like Cassie's lawyer who probably have all the information to to, to oh here you go oh hey, right and her lawyer stated bro oh we will be cooperating with <coughs> like like again I just don't understand it right because if you paying her like not to sue you then why don't pay her like to why not wasn't that in the clause. Yeah, right. Like, hey, bro, don't talk to no police, because, because again, because they said, oh, we'll be fully cooperating, like, with the police. Me is, yo, bro, fuck a lawsuit. Once I heard that, <laughs> fuck your thirty million, fuck yeah, everything right. else. I'm not giving up shit at that point, because I already know eventually this shit. So this is pretty much a case of like she's not saying nothing, but the state, the government's picking it up. Like it's right. like state, because the state can do that. Like. They got 30 days to press charges against you, even if the person like doesn't want to say anything. Mm -hmm. That's why on some people's paperwork, it'll be the state versus you, not the other person. Absolutely. Because the state will pick them charges up. You know what I'm saying? Facts, so, right? Yeah. Shit, I'm no, gonna sure. shit up. No, no, right? Like, and it's like this, right? Yo, look. Oh, listen. Oh, I'm Cassie. Oh, I ain't say nothing, but my lawyer told CNN exactly where to go and who to get it from. Right, so let's see. Then he got hoodwinked, finesse, and bamboozled. But still, though, I don't want us to like take away from the fact that he is a monster. He's the one who did this. Now, how do y'all feel like this will impact his career? Right, right. Because again, before this, I, I said, "Yo, listen, yo, Diddy is gonna bounce back. He's going to rain on top again." After this, bro, I think it's over. Shit. With. Man, I, nah, like I've been saying, bro, like I've been saying for years. I've been saying for years that the nigga was freaky, nigga. We been knew he was freaky, nigga. From all this old shit, that Usher shit, nigga, that that making the band, some of them weird ass clips, nigga. It was all kind of it was all kind of signs that he was a weirdo. So I was never surprised, nigga. This is just typical Diddy shit. I've been, been, been for a, at least maybe five, five, six years been saying, nigga, I can't wait to see a surviving Diddy. I never thought it was gonna be on this level. You feel me? I thought it was just gonna be a couple people come together, make a little documentary, and tell the experience. But I didn't think it was gonna be like this, nigga. This is wild, nigga. He fucked. He's fucked. Now he's not coming back from this game. He's chopped, chopped cheese, my boy. Nah, right, bro. Like, right? Yo, bro. Like, um. But what's gonna come of this? This is a domestic violence situation. They gonna take right? him out to jail yeah. now because this is gonna be part of that Rico. This is gonna be. This is. This is all a part of, you know what I'm saying? Like the bigger case. So, nah, this not just no, just no domestic at this point. This is all, this is all gonna be used in that Rico. I guarantee you. I guarantee you, all this gonna be used in that Rico. This thing got the Frico on his ass, and this is gonna be a part of it, for sure, for sure. Yeah, man. Right, like, cause yeah, bro, like, yo, and, and like, it's to me like, what makes this even worse, right? Is yo. Is think about how like how like how like sinister this is, right? Yo, is he woke up mad after busting a nut and achieving some great sleep, bro? Listen, yo, I don't know a human on earth who is this pissed off and this angry after busting a nut and sleeping. Look at this. Oh so shit, there was a little leaves. more. This nigga's nuts. Oh yeah, see, you see? Well, no, no. This nigga crazy look, as fuck. Look, watch. He is tripping. Boy, he on a real drunk power trip. You see? He on a rich ass power trip, bro. He's nuts. Through the glass vase at her. She, 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 she you know, wasn't lying. Feel me? And he did that. Shit, we never thought she was lying, nigga. <laughs> nah, uh, bro. I, lying. Never, nah, I never thought this bitch was lying. I'm going to keep it a buck. No? Nah? I think that she should have been left away earlier in that... At that point, it's your fault because you didn't stay so long. Nah, At, man. yeah, it is. Because when the first yeah, time somebody is. do something to you when you leave, that's not your fault because you didn't know this person was like that. He hit you or whatever, and then you got on. 
But once you keep staying and keep staying and keep staying and keep staying, you are now part of the problem. It takes two to tango. Nigga, nigga can't fight itself. Mm -mm. You got to be there. No, sure. But, like, if he has, like, that much power... It don't like, matter. He would have to kidnap career. you every day. He would have to kidnap career. you every day. Fuck the career. Yep. Let's be real. Nigga would have For to come real. kidnap you, drag you out whatever house you in every day, middle of the street, every day to it's come get you. It's not her fault, you. though, man. But yeah, I guarantee it is. you, I almost yeah. guarantee it's you not this. solely her fault, if but she's a part of it. I, I almost guarantee you this. If it wasn't the same day, she came back within a couple days. She was right back with him. I yeah. promise you this. Her career? Fuck your career if you and fear your life. Nigga. Your career don't matter. It's your life. She was signed to him, and he. So what? That don't got nothing to do with nothing. But I mean, shit. I sure, disagree. man. This is that power grip, bro. Whooping a nigga, whooping somebody ass like for a continent. I disappear. That, that don't matter. That won't matter. That don't matter. Come up with a new name, because the nigga can only have to, to own the likeness to certain things. Change your music name. Come under something else. Change your lane. Do it. It's very possible. You know what I'm saying? Scratch all that old music. If you really feel your life, scratch that old music. Scratch all that old recording shit. Go somewhere, start over, do something else. You know what it was? That bitch was addicted to that lifestyle that part. and didn't want to let that shit go. 100% That's what fat. it really come down to. I'm not to. saying it's solely her fault because he's a nah. creepy, freaky ass nigga. We ain't never going to get that fucked up. He's a freaky ass man. But like I'm saying though, with the first time somebody do something, like look, Flacco, say mm. you say something to me and yeah. then I punch you in your nose, right? Yeah. I'm fully the problem. Of course. Because this is the very first time I punch you in the nose. Yeah. I see you tomorrow. You come say that exact same shit, and I punch you in the nose again. Yeah. And I see you the next day, yeah. and this just becomes cycle of me punch you in the nose. Every time I see you, it's like, all right, Flacco, when is you going to detour this? Yeah. When are you going to detour this situation? you just going to continuously get socked because you work here? Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. That's what Working the right? here is the contrast to her career. She was you know what I'm saying? That that's stupid. Need. She was feeding his need. With or that say shit. Adam, because he's yeah. the boss. Okay. And that's the nigga that, sure. that signed your checks or whatever. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. He just punch you in here every day. He come and just yeah. because you want to keep your job, you're going to get socked every day. At that point, it's both y'all fault. He a word off for beating your ass every yeah. day. And you a dumbass <laughs> yeah. for coming in this bitch every day to get punched just to talk for your career. It's stupid. <laughs> y'all both dumb. <laughs> okay, okay, here, bro. But like, He's that's a weird, weirdo, but you're dumb. No, right? Words. But like, that's where, like, I guess I kind of like, like, I, I definitely understand what you're saying. But I kind of like disagree, right? Because, for example, if I have a job and, bro, I'm going to be homeless if I, like, leave today and don't have nothing left, left, right? And I have to endure being abused and, you know... You know, and, morals and, and over money, bro. Attacked. That's stupid. Morals over right? money. You're that a dummy. That case. Right? Morals like, over money, bro. Right? Like that wasn't her case. Oh, well, head, well, head though. Uh, according to her, though, right? Cap, she could go for it. When she like tried like to leave, right? That like uh, like like the movie directors and labels called her and, and said, "Hey, listen, man, like we." Have to like like drop you? No, sorry. Like like like. Then go do something else, right? Uh, until you and Puff make it right with each other. So right? go do something else. You, you can't sing me? anyways. Go do something else. No, true, but like no, true. But all like, this for your career? That's just dumb. It's dumb. It's, yeah, man. Go I do mean, something like that power else. Dynamic, man, it gets it's weird, like, man. Bro, just go do something else. And he like he it. don't control every business. The nigga yeah. don't control carpeting. He don't control nursing. Yeah, he don't. On, you know what I'm saying? Go be a nurse, bitch. Go do something else. You just want to sing. Like he said, you're chasing you because you want to sing so bad, you go endure whatever. Fuck yeah. out you here. fed that Get nigga's need for your here. music career. You fed if he's an abusive motherfucker, right? Which this shit was nasty. But if that's what he was, you fed into his need. Like you, you was feeding him this shit. Like you were helping his sickness. Yeah, yeah. No, here, right? No, right? And, and, and like, like, and, come on, bro. Here, right? And like, as a victim too, bro. Like, like it's just something, but it goes on like just mentally. That you just have this unhealthy attachment to this person who is your perpetrator. That right? just means you gotta go bomb. find help. You feel when, me? When you're an adult, it's hard bomb. to break that. You feel Bro, me? now look, if if somebody was a child with that, I will fully, fully, fully be on your side. When you're an adult, whatever happens to you, that's fully her, your responsibility. Right. When you're an adult, 
your life is in your own hands. Now, when you're a kid and you forced with these bond relationships from having yeah. crazy parents or mm. crazy brothers and sisters, that's different. Yeah. You're forced because you're a child and you have no other no other option. When you're a grown ass woman or a grown ass man, nigga, yeah. you got an option. There is no True. no choice. It's always a choice unless you're literally chained up in a basement. No, true, if you're though. not chained in a basement, you got a choice. Yeah. You feel me? No, true, right? Now, bitch, at, yeah. bitch at Met Gala's with this nigga taking pictures and shit. No, true, right? Just spaz out, flip out though, right, right there. Say, fuck yeah, this. I, I don't want to be around. I don't want to do it. Right here. Right there. Do it. No, true, the right but The cameras but, is here. Right. Like, I don't want to hear that shit. I'm sorry she got abused. And, yeah, and, and, I hate to hear like, that. Like, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. ain't cool. He a freaky <laughs> ass nigga. But like you said, take two to tank. Yeah, yeah. bro. He, he can't, can't abuse. He can't abuse the wall. She was 19, though, and he was like, 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 35 when they got together. So he pretty much raised this bitch. Man, you stop. Feel me? You feel You an adult. At, at 19, 19 and 35, you feel me? He a weirdo for all of that. I'm I'm yeah. fully with that. He's a freaky ass no, man. He's a freak for that. For praying on 19 year olds and doing all this type of freaky ass shit. The nigga need, the nigga's a, a, a creep, nigga. We ain't never gonna get that fucked up, but stop, bro. After you see this man a weirdo and you just keep fucking with him, keep fucking with him for what, damn near 15 years? Man, stop. It was all about a bag. Then she came back and got that 30 piece. Stop. It man. was always about the money. She missed that money. Come that's on, what bro. it always, that's why I feel like she never left. She in endured the all that abuse because he's P. Diddy. Yeah. He rich. And he was taking care of her. She was having everything. You Come know, on, and bro. I feel like this, Flacco, like you said, yeah. like, oh, well, what if this is, you, you put yourself in a situation where you were like, oh, well, you know, what if I'm going to be down on my ass tomorrow, I'm not going to have nothing, and this job is the only thing that I have that's going to keep me afloat. Nigga, that's not the case for her, bro. She had bread. She could have walked away. She chose not to walk away. She liked that shit. At, at some point, there was something about that that she accepted. And even if she didn't, she could go use her likeness and go figure that shit out. For somewhere. sure, homie. Mm -hmm. Come but on. look, nigga, you ain't never heard the saying, nigga, fool me once. Shame on, shame on, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Nigga, that's how it always been. Come on, mm -hmm. bro. That's just common that's sense. That's just the man. way it goes.